What's going on guys? Miles here with Standish Cocktails. How in the heck are you? So we're doing something special today. My friends over at Chopin Vodka sent me an awesome rye. So why not make an incredible cocktail? So that's what we're doing. We're doing a twist off the Vesper. So let's talk about the Vesper for a minute. So the Vesper was originally created for the Bond movie. So you know that scene in the movie where he tells the, the waitress he wants a, uh, a martini shaken, not stirred, but Mr. Bond, sorry, we're stirring this one and we're doing a twist off of it. It's called the Rose Gold. So the difference in between the two of these is we're gonna be using uh, Lele. Now, originally the Vesper uses uh, Kino Lele. They don't make that anymore. So we're gonna do good old Lele Blanc. Um, we're gonna add some rose liqueur to it. And then we're gonna be using this beautiful, super smooth, super silky uh, Chopin Rye Vodka. Now, the original Vesper also has gin, which has a little bit more of a punch to it, but because we're using rye vodka, we kind of eliminated the gin and added our own little flavorful elements to it to really make the cocktail pop and really make it sing. And then we're also going to add a couple of dashes of orange bitters to give it some citrus notes. So let's just get into it. So we're going to add three ounces because Bond low key loves his booze, actually high key he loves his booze. We love our booze over here at Sandish Cocktails. So we're gonna do a three ounce pour on this rye vodka. And then we're gonna do just a half ounce of rose liqueur. So with rose liqueur, it's super floral, it's super potent. A little bit goes a long way. So we're only doing a half. And it's also gonna give it that, that lovely color that you can probably see right now. It's kinda got like this pinkish gold glow to it. And then we're gonna add half ounce of the Lillet. Now Lillet is a little bit on the uh, sweeter side, a um, little grapey. Um, it's made from wine, it's uh, French aperitif, so like I said, it's gonna have a lot of complex flavors going on when you pair that with a rye vodka and some rose liqueur. And we're gonna pour that right in our mixing glass. Hints to play on the name too, guys. Rose gold. And then, let's add our ice. And also, I almost forgot. How can you forget the bitters? Forgive me. <laughs> We're gonna do two dashes right in our mixing glass. See, no tricks, no movie magic, just me messing up and fixing myself. And then we're gonna stir it right in the mixing glass. Just get it a little diluted, nothing too crazy. You wanna chill it, but you don't wanna over stir it. Melissa's over there laughing at me because I'm over here messing stuff up, but it's all right. We bounce right back. <laughs> we're gonna add our sphere ice cube. So ice cubes, we won't get too picky. I have a bunch of molds. I have a sphere mold, I got a square mold, I got a mold for crushed ice. If you don't have any of that stuff and you just got good old ice in your freezer, use it. The beautiful thing about cocktails is you make it with love and how you like them to taste and long as it tastes how you want it, you're doing all right. So let's take this, strain it right into our glass. And then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take this lemon here and we're just gonna do a nice fat peel. Nothing difficult, keep it simple, keep it classy, just like the cocktail. And just go ahead and peel that bad boy. Ooh. And then we're gonna go ahead and just express the oils right over the top. A little razzle dazzle, wipe her down. Make sure she's all citrusy and fragrant and smelling good and looking good. Garnish her. See that beautiful, lovely rose gold color? 
You look at her, smell her, sip, <laughs> and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Cheers. <laughs>